Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to talk about something that kills about 20,000 Americans every year and most people don't know what's happening to them. So, um, what it is going to be tested with is this guy and I am going to cover some of the facts. It's, it's radon gas, which is a radioactive gas that comes up from the ground and it builds up in indoor spaces. And if you um, don't get it tested, then you don't know it exists. There's no immediate health effect. You can't smell it or detect it. It doesn't stain anything. Um, so you have to get it tested. And a lot of times people get it tested when they buy um, a new, or you know, they buy a house. And that's what I did. And mine was high at this house uh, about four and a half years ago when we bought it. And I've wanted to relook at it um, since then because if you've been watching my channel you'll notice this is a new uh, desk space for me so this is in the basement now and the basement is the worst place for radon so I wanted to kind of um, get another sense check on it and so I purchased this little guy to, to test it out so let's go through kind of um, what this does and um, what the results are it has a smart app with it but uh, to give you a little details uh, about radon is you know, lung cancer is a is a pretty big um, killer uh, overall, but most of that's caused by smoking. And about they have a hard time exactly pinpointing, but about 15% or so of those um, lung cancer deaths are due to the radon. So again, that's about 20,000, uh, depending on what year that you pick. And if you look at the U.S. Uh, radon can be anywhere um, in, in the U.S. All 50 states have it. You know, my state of Michigan actually has a map I'll show right here where they show uh, how many houses uh, in each county actually have it. And it ranges, you know, in my county, I think it's like 20% of the homes tested are over the action level. Uh, but some of the counties are like over half of the house houses tested are actually over the action level, meaning that they should get uh, something done. Uh, to to prevent it. And now I don't want to scare you too much. I mean, overall the risk is still fairly low. Um, but so for reference, at uh, four pico curies per liter, a non-smoker has about the same level of risk of dying from a radon-induced lung cancer as they do as dying in a car crash. So it's certainly a risk. It's not. Um, something that um, you know you have to worry about every day necessarily uh, but what's great about it is that it's easily detectable and easily preventable um, so this guy um, i got about a month ago and so let me zoom back in time here and show you the unboxing and the setup of this guy as well as my initial testing of it um, when i unboxed it and then I'll shoot back to present day and I'll show you the trend that's happened over the past month and what I've done about it. I bought this property uh, a little over four years ago and we had radon tested. It's kind of typical to get it tested when you buy or sell a house. And our level here was at 5.8 uh, picocuries per liter of air. That's a measure of radiation. And the EPA recommends anything above four that you would get a um, professional company to come in and do a re remediation of it. And basically, I'll show a video of it down here in a second, but basically they seal up any cracks or like sump pump holes in the basement, and then they add a big PVC pipe with a fan on the outside of the house, and it just pulls a slight negative pressure in all of that uh, groundwater space that's underneath the basement through the drain tiles and whatnot. And the goal there is to pump out the radon gases that seep up from the earth below. So radon is naturally occurring, it's not uh, man-made, it's not because there's some nuclear waste uh, underneath the house. It, it's basically everywhere, they've measured it in all 50 states of the US, and it can vary greatly house to house. So if your neighbor doesn't have it, it does not mean that you don't have it. And what they really want is a radon level below 2.7 uh, picocuries per liter. And like I said, this house was at 5.8, so it was over the action level. It wasn't what you call extreme, but it was definitely high for what you wanted. And there's all kinds of factors that can cause the radon to be worse in your house. 
One of them is simply the um, house being closed up a lot if it doesn't have airflow. So newer homes are actually in some ways worse than that because they are better sealed off and they don't have drafts or whatnot going through them. And winter seems to be worse because you tend to keep it closed up more. And then lower levels are worse. So the basement level is the worst. And I'm actually going to start moving my office down to the basement to live, um, not live, <laughs> seemingly live down there, but uh, to work down there. And um, I wanted to have a little bit more confidence because it's been four years and radon can change a lot. It can change day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. So this device is going to measure it continuously. I think it does a recording every 10 minutes and then I like smart home stuff, so this is smart. Um, you know, it's a connected device, has an app with my phone, and I can watch trend lines. So I love that kind of stuff, and I see data over time. So I'm gonna get this out, I'll show you what it is, and then um, I will uh, put it to action, and in the same video, I will cover how it's done over the past several weeks uh, to see what results I'm getting. And I do have a radon mitigation active, and um, you know, so hopefully the levels are low, but if they're not, then I know I may need to do some more work here. It doesn't come with a lot. It's just this little guy and then a fairly short USB cord, about three feet here, and then a wall uh, adapter for that USB cord. So let me get this plugged in. Let me open up the app and just see what it does here. Okay, so they say to download this EcoCube app on the Play Store for me for Android. It's by EcoSense is the company that makes this. So let me go ahead and install this. All right, so this is my first time, so I'm gonna to have to sign up for this app. All right, so we're connected to the Wi-Fi. So now it is going to do a measurement. And now they said that it gets the first measurement in about 10 minutes, but really it's the first hour where it's going to average all those six um, measurements over the past hour. That's the first time you get a quote unquote accurate reading. So I imagine up here in the office, it's going to be better than it will be in the basement. But for this demonstration for right now, I'll just let it um, get my first reading and then we'll move it to the basement and let it sit there for several days to a couple weeks before I, um, I do another recording here and add it to this, this same video. Now, this app has a lot of information in here that you can go about the health risk with it. So um, let me let it do this thing and then um, we'll get an update. All right, so I let this sit here for about 30 minutes or something and it stayed at the 0.6 uh, reading, which means I'm very much in the green zone. It t takes a 2.7 um, or higher to get to the yellow zone and then over four to get in the red, into the red zone. And so, you know, I really like this because it's going to give me a graph over time. So in the bottom portion here, this will give me a graph of the day, a week, and the month and even the year of how this fluctuates and I would expect something like in the winter time it would be higher but you know the the downside and the reason why I wanted to get this electronic device was the way that this house was tested and a lot of the ways that I think most houses are tested is a little test kit that you get and it's um, it's not a sponge but it's like this um, this uh, material that you typically hang up down um, in the basement is where they typically recommend and you leave it there for two to seven days something like that and then you seal it up in a little pouch you ship it off to a lab and then they measure how much of that radioactive uh, material is in there from the radon gas and then they give you a score but you know so that is a average over how many days that you had it in there but it's not really a robust reading one because it changes so much and then 
um, it could be in a burst of um, you know like two of those days it could have been very low and then one of the days could have been really high and then they average it out over those days so that's why I like this and I'm excited to see um, I'm ho hopefully I'm bored with it because I want it to stay low and not be an issue if it um, if it does become an issue then I'll have to do some more um, remediation but hopefully this is a good sign that I'm I'll be in the clear okay so let me open up the app today and we can see here that my current my most recent reading here is 1.2 pico curries per liter still in the green zone and um, if you look at the graph down here on the bottom of the screen that shows you a per hour reading of my results and you can see that sometimes it drops down to 0.3 early this morning and it's been as high as um, I guess 1.2 right now is, is actually probably the highest it's been all day. But then I can zoom out to a, uh, a week view and you can see you know some days, the whole day is, is really low. And then other days um, it's higher. I can go out to a month here. You can see I've almost had it for a month now. And it shows you my average. So my monthly average is 0.6 uh, pico curies per liter. Which, if you remember, that was actually my original reading upstairs, uh, which is really good. So, what the U.S. says is outdoor average, I think, is 0.4 uh, pico curries per liter, and then in, indoor average is like you know around one and a half, uh, you know, 1.3, uh, 1.5, 1.7 pico curries per liter. So, anywhere in that zone is uh, considered normal and average um, and then really it's not until you get above two that you should consider doing something and then certainly above four you want to take action so in here you know you can zoom out um, obviously um, to bigger picture I don't have enough data there but the other thing you can do here is you can go in here and see the data in a table as well as uh, export it so you can export it as like a, a dot csv or an excel format so if you really wanted to um, get fancy with the data in, in some other uh, way you could do that in here as well other, other than that there's really not um, a lot of features which i think is perfectly fine because you don't need much else um, so the only other thing they really have in here is a um, option to get notified so here you can have notifications and you can set those um, those values up in the alarm settings here I have them on the default but if I go in here to the device settings I can see device configurations and then right here this is the default threshold is at this four pico curries per liter now I can also enable an audio alarm which this um, little local unit will actually sound an alarm if it goes over that. I have that disabled. I have it just um, go to my phone. But um, that's basically the extent of the app. Uh, I'll say it's been very robust. So the simplicity is certainly um, nice from that standpoint. And I've enjoyed kind of checking on it and watching it. So, you know, if, um, if you haven't had your house tested ever or it's been a while, or you just like to uh, kind of geek out on uh, some data like this I would certainly recommend and suggest this you know this video was not sponsored in any way this was something I bought um, on my own because it's something I wanted to test and I don't regret it it's given me some peace of mind and um, I look forward to watching it for uh, many years to go alright so now I'm in my basement utility room and this is the radon mitigation uh, pipe basically just a big PVC um, pipe that is pulling a small vacuum uh, of underneath the slab of the basement. And you can see here we have a um, a gauge here that is showing me how much of a vacuum it's pulling. It's not much, but uh, it doesn't have to be. It's just something to keep the um, all that uh, air and gas going up that way. So if we kind of look to see what it does here, it comes down over here and here's my sump pump and the other thing they did is they put a piece of uh, plexiglass and they seal it down with um, silicone and they seal all of the you know the sump pump and water softener drain um, 
hot water heater drain, all that stuff gets sealed up so that your um, whole drain tile system has that vacuum pulled up on it.